Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to do a Bergman pattern. This is uh, the March Brown Male UK Partridge Sprout Hook. I sped this up because uh, otherwise it would take too long. Um, so there's all the ingredients. I'll also put those in the description. This is uh, a pattern that uh, I'm uh, on a Facebook group of those who are interested in Bergman on that are on Facebook should join. Uh, it's a Bergman uh, fly tying group. And uh, the uh, admin of the group has started a fly of the month concept where, where members of the group tie that particular pattern and share their photos. And this month is the uh, March Brown Male UK. Uh, so I'm just using black silk, uh, sorry, not silk thread here. And that's just because you don't really see it. Uh, the tail is dark partridge fibers. And that's a flat gold wire tinsel. The dubbing for the body is a dark brown and gray. What I did was I mixed a hair's mask, hair's ear, and uh, some brown Australian possum together to get that sort of brown, dark brown, gray color. And I'm dubbing it on, uh, attempting to uh, create a little bit of a footballish shape where it's a little fatter in the middle there. Uh, than it is on either end and uh, doing uh, spiraling wraps uh, for the ribbing with, uh, again, this is small flat gold uh, tinsel. And the beard or the hackle is also a dark partridge feather. So we're going to tie that in now. Of course, with beards, I think I've done this in videos. You can also like just tie it in actually as a beard. Uh, I prefer to wrap the the hackle w when possible, and uh, in this case with uh, with the partridge soft hackle, that's pretty easy. So just wrap it there, and then I'll, uh, as you see, after I remove this stem, I'll uh, I'll uh, stroke it down and and tie it so it so it's held down uh, in a beard like fashion and uh, just clean up that head area there to set this wing. Uh, it's The wing calls for dark pheasant slips, and uh, I used a hen pheasant here, and uh, the primaries on the hen pheasant uh, have like really thick, uh, the barbules are thick as you get close to the stem, so I use a secondary, it's a little softer, at that point where you tie in and uh, hopefully it makes for a cleaner a cleaner tie-in. And as you can see, when I f first tried to set the wing, I screwed it up. Um, usually slips give you a second chance. Uh, and here I, I took a second chance with them and it kind of worked out. As I'm watching the video, the slips look a little thin, uh, maybe not thick enough. Uh, and, and uh, I don't think I uh, re realized it at the moment. Otherwise, I would have done, you know, cut new slips and done it again. So I'm just cleaning up that head area, getting those butts really tied down. And i uh, going to flatten the thread here and then cover up that head with a, with a back-to-front whip finish if I can get my coordination uh, together there and uh, that'll finish off the fly and then do a nice uh, nice lacquering job uh, on the head to make it uh, smooth and shiny. And the uh, dubbing there has, uh, has snagged the tails, so I had to free it up there. That's from Bergman's book, so you see what the image looks like. Here's another one I tied where I, where I made those slips a little fatter. Still not perfect, but it's hard. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye-bye.